All right, also today, federal agents raided the home of a Chictawaga man who took part in the events last week in the nation's capital, which turned violent and deadly. Well, Channel 2 was the only station there as agents searched the home of Peter Harding. We get more now, including exclusive video from our Dave McKinley. When he spoke to us last week, Harding indicated he was willing to speak with the FBI about being at the demonstration in Washington, where protesters barged their way into the Capitol and went on a violent rampage. I contacted the local, uh, you know, local branch here in Buffalo to speak to them. I left a message. They haven't returned a phone call back to me yet. I have nothing to hide. Perhaps not taking any chances on that, the FBI spent most of this day at Harding's Chictawaga home, where we saw armed agents coming and going to and from the house from unmarked vehicles. About the only thing the FBI will confirm through a spokesperson is that agents were here this morning to conduct what she referred to as court authorized activity. They used to call that a search warrant. According to neighbors, agents arrived at about 5 this morning and made quite an entrance. One neighbor told us it appeared to her that the FBI had used a battering ram to enter a door. Now, we couldn't say for sure to verify that account, but then we did notice that there appears to be marks on this door consistent perhaps with a battering ram device, and she insists those marks were not there before today. The FBI will not confirm whether Harding was charged with anything or even if he was home at the time of the raid, and he has not returned our messages today. The raid went down a few hours after the FBI had issued this poster where a man identified only as number 78 and who appears to be Harding is captured on a photo where it appears he was inside the Capitol. There are also videos which have widely circulated that appear to show him near a pile of news gathering equipment being smashed by demonstrators. On another video, which we are not showing because we've yet to obtain permission from its author, a man who appears to be Harding also appears to be using a lighter to try and set fire to some of that equipment. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.